December 13th In the Christmas story of How Winston Delivered Christmas Chapter 13 As flat as a pancake Almost Come on, Winston, he squeaked to himself. You can do this. But Winston didn't feel as if he could. The road was wide and very busy with traffic, whizzing up and down it, and the ground was slushy and slippery. In the distance, the letter was still stuck to the pole. The edges were twitching and wiggling as cars zoomed by, but so far it hadn't flown off any further down the street into the oncoming vehicles. Winston willed his whiskers to stop shivering. He took a few steps forward so that his feet were right on the edge of the curb. It was very dangerous for a tiny mouse like him to scamper into the road. He was too small for any of the drivers to see him, and even more invisible against the swirling snow and bright flashing headlights. As he watched the lights blur together and shimmered like chains of fairy lights that were wrapped and looped around the street lamps and trees on either side of the road, normally he would have thought that it all looked rather pretty. But the only thing filling his mind at this moment was how big, wide and scary the space between him and the letter. He squeezed his eyes shut for a moment. You can do it, he told himself again. You are a very brave mouse. And he decided maybe this was true. Usually, at this time of night, he would be tucked up in a hidey hole somewhere, trying to sleep and stay warm. But tonight, he'd already be doing lots of brave things. Winston braced himself. He was going to do it. He was going to retrieve the letter. Looking in the direction of the traffic, he spotted a small break in the line of vehicles and chose just that moment to leap off the curb and dash part of the way across the road. His heart was really pounding now. He was stuck in the middle of two lanes of traffic. Cars whipped past him on both sides. The earth shuddered under his paws, and great clouds of dirty black smoke puffed out from the exhaust pipes. Winston tried to focus on getting across the next bit of a road and onto the small strip of raised pavement in the middle. He steeled himself, wiggled his nose, and checked for a safe gap. He took a deep breath and scampered as quickly as he could across the slippery street. But he had misjudged the speed of cars, zooming down the road. It was disorienting. A buzz whizzed by and Winston spun around several times on the spot. When he eventually managed to steady himself, he didn't know where he'd come from or where he was meant to be going. He heard a loud roar behind him. He squeaked an alarm. An enormous car was heading straight for him. Its bright yellow headlights were blinding and they were getting nearer and nearer. If he didn't move, he'd end up flat as a pancake. Winston, move, he cried out to himself. But his tiny feet were frozen with fear. He crouched lower on the ground and put his paws over his head. He braced himself for a collision with the car and closed his eyes tight. He could feel the car coming closer and closer. Closer and closer. 